Which course at Cambridge has the fastest declining acceptance rate of any course over the last five years? It is their computer science course. Now, only 8.5% of applicants get into this course. That's down from over 20% just five years ago. Why? Well, with the rise of AI, machine learning, and an £85,000 post-graduation salary just five years after graduation, this is becoming the number one course for aspiring top students. It is incredibly competitive, and today, for the first time, we're going to be sharing our tips and tricks on how you can stand out from the crowd and get yourself closer to that offer and fantastic salary requirement. Now, firstly, the entry requirements. Being a Cambridge course, this is the standard A star, A star, A minimum acceptance rate, although the average candidate will have three A stars. Maths is required, but 96% of candidates had further maths A star, A star last year. So really, to be competitive in this course, you need to have near perfect A levels. On top of that, you've also got the notorious Cambridge interview, more on that later. On top of that, you have the TMUA, the Mathematics at University Admissions Test, which has replaced the old step from Cambridge, and also your MyCap additional questions in addition to your personal statement, one academic reference and English language requirements. It's a huge amount to prepare, and if you're also applying to the likes of Imperial and UCL, you've got additional tests you need to prepare for for those as well. Well, the good news is with so many hoops to jump through, each gives you a chance to stand out from the crowd. And my number one tip is focus on the most important of those, TMUA. Cambridge's offer holder has an average score of 6.9, putting them in the top 10% of test takers, and bear in mind only very strong candidates will take this test in the first place. You want to be dedicating at least three months of preparation to this test, and it might well be worth considering working with a specialist admin test prep tutor, such as those in our network at the profs, to help give you the edge. If you want to contact us to understand how a specialist admissions test taking tutor can help you, contact us using the information in the description below. Tip number two, avoid the AI noob trap. So many people talk about AI in their Cambridge application and in doing so demonstrate they don't really know what they are talking about. So what can we do instead? Now, if you really are interested in machine learning and have done a lot of reading and maybe been some open days and talks, of course you can talk about it. It's an exciting element of computer science, but the majority of candidates will use it as a buzzword and demonstrate to the admissions officer they haven't done very many readings. So I recommend going for a, minimal, for a more niche topic. Now, you can go onto the Cambridge Computer Science website you can click on research groups and see the current research interest that Cambridge is specializing in. Luckily, I've done that for you, and you might well want to be looking at networking and hardware. These are talked about a lot less than AI, but it's what Cambridge is making a name for itself in, particularly how it stands out from its close competitor, Oxford University. Look at the dons at the college you're applying to, look at their research papers, read the abstract, and consider dropping some of those into your personal statement or MyCap application to really stand out from the crowd. Number three, very related. Cambridge don't think the personal statement is enough, so you've got to do an additional MyCap application as well. The good news is this gives you a chance to tailor your application to Cambridge and not all five of your UCAS choices. Now, my tip is to treat this MyCap like interview prep. You can mention those research groups and you can mention the Don special interest areas in your MyCap application as well as your readings. And hopefully you might well end up sitting and being interviewed by one of those Dons about what you've read, meaning that you're talking about an area that you've already prepared for rather than being caught off guard in that notorious interview. Cambridge also have good reading lists. 
I recommend looking at purely functional data structures by Okasaki. Not the most interesting of titles, but that's good because people who read books like this really do have an interest in deep data structures and understand what computer science is. Look at that reading list. Now, these are big, dense texts, so you might well want to look at a YouTube summary first to understand the gist before then skimming the chapters that you're most interested in. Of course, if you get invited to interview, make sure you've read the full text and taken detailed notes. They will be testing that in the interview stage. Speaking of Cambridge interviews, Cambridge interviews 50 to 75% of its applicants, compared to just 15 to 40% at Oxford. This means that if you have lower grades, you are more likely at Cambridge to get an interview. So if you think you're someone who interviews well, Cambridge might be a strategic advantage over applying to Oxford. Tip number four, learn an object-oriented language. You've likely heard of Python, and it's fantastic if you can do an introductory course to Python, maybe even get a certificate in it, and talk about what you've built or what scripts you've written in your application. But my tip is to look at Haskell. Now, this is a language you might not have heard of, but is taught on many of the Cambridge courses meaning you've got a more niche specialist language, but also you're showing and sounding like you've already studied the first term at Cambridge, giving you a huge advantage. I'd also look at SQL. It's a fairly easy to get into language that is used in a variety of different areas within computer science and is another one that you can study. Generally speaking, it's better to go into one or two languages in depth than to do too many languages very broadly, because in the interview, you won't be able to have the depth of your competitors to stand out. Now, tip number five, go to an open day. Of course, in applying to Cambridge, you're not just applying to the university, you are also applying to a specific college. Understanding which college you like is important, but strategically, also what are the specialist areas of the dons at that college so you can align your interests with their interests for the interview and the application. Now, Cambridge has made a fantastic name for itself. We've already said £85,000 post-graduation salary. They've also got 130 places and are widely regarded as the number one computer science BSc in the country. They also have a four-year master's option with a BSc combined with a master's, which has a slightly higher acceptance rate and could be a good strategic option for you if you're slightly closer to the grade boundary requirements. Now, that is just five of the tens of tips we have for Cambridge's competitive BSc computer science course. If you found this helpful, please do like, subscribe. If you've got any questions, comment. I get back to as many comments as I can because I love helping students however we can. And if you'd be interested in learning more about our services, there is a no commitment expert consultation that you can have with one of our team to understand your chances of getting into top university like Cambridge, Imperial, Oxford, UCL, or Warwick, and also to understand how we might be able to boost your acceptance rate chances. Lastly, if you want to see an exemplar personal statement, I've written one so you can see what a top applicant will be writing and look at my five pillar framework to help give you the edge over other candidates. All of this on screen now in the description link below. Most importantly, good luck in your application.